All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Google Ads location targeting. So this is the same for search campaigns, display campaigns, and video campaigns. So I'm gonna be going over how to find where your ads were triggered, how to add different locations to your campaigns, and basically every type of location targeting option that you need to know. So first things first, we're in our campaign here. We have a search campaign open. Uh, we've clicked on the locations tab on the left-hand side. Uh, the other thing you can do is click on your settings here and you're going to see locations right here it'll show your targeted locations and then you can click on advanced search and start adding other locations to your campaign so one thing when you're adding locations under settings if you see location options here i prefer to target people in my targeted locations and exclude people in my excluded locations so otherwise what's going to happen is if you target people in or who show interest in your targeted locations then what's going to happen is if in someone in France, for example, is looking up pages about the United States, maybe they're planning a visit here, something like that, and you're targeting people in the United States, and then that same person from France searches your keywords, your ads might show to them. Even if you're trying to target you know, people for your local business in the United States, your ads still might show to people in France. So it might not be useful to do something like people who show interest in your targeted locations because if people are in different countries and they're not likely to visit your store, your local business, or something along those lines, or if you only ship to people in the United States, something like that, then targeting people outside of the United States might not be useful for you at all and it might just be a waste of your budget. So just one thing to keep in mind when it comes to targeting and excluding, it's the same thing for excluding if you exclude people who show interest in your excluded locations. So if someone is simply just looking up a vacation to a specific area, maybe someone has to make a business trip to a specific area and you have that area excluded, you might end up excluding them from your campaign. So I just like to focus on where people are actually located. Uh, so that's just one option when it comes to locations here. Now what we're gonna do is come back over to the locations tab here and when you open the locations tab, it's gonna show some statistics for the targeted locations in your campaign and if you have any excluded locations in your campaign, which I don't right now. I'm just targeting the United States, but what you can do is come over here to the geographic report and click on the geographic report at the top here and if we just click back a little bit, so now it's gonna show all of our targeted locations. It's gonna say physical location or location of interest. I like to just use physical location because there's usually more statistics here. We're gonna click on this, and then what you can do is click on select view, and you can see the locations where your ads were triggered. So if we start with region, since we're targeting the United States, the region is gonna be states. So you can see New Jersey, California, I've ranked it by conversions here. You can rank it by costs, by clicks, but you're gonna be able to see the top states for your business. And if we come down here, we could also click on state. So same exact thing here. Um, the other thing is a Nielsen DMA region. So if you're not familiar with DMA regions, they're basically marketing regions that a lot of advertisers use, specifically in TV advertising campaigns, but they've been used in Google ads for as long as I've been using Google ads. So if you click on that, you can see it's just huge markets. So Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Atlanta, Georgia, New York, New York, Baltimore, Maryland. If we do it by impressions, you're gonna see it's generally by the most populated. It really depends on where you're targeting though. Um, so New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Philadelphia. It all really depends on what you're targeting. So these are some of the more broad options for kind of areas you can target for your campaign. We're gonna keep scrolling down. So the other thing you can do is congressional district. So that could be very useful for politics. Um, so you can see Massachusetts, Minnesota, it's MA-6, MN-7. So that's the way that you would target a congressional district. I'm going to go through targeting in a little bit. Um, next thing as we keep going down, you can do county. Um, so you can see Cook County, Illinois, Los Angeles County, California. Generally, these are more populated counties as well, depending on where you're targeting. Um, so as we keep scrolling down, let's see, we could do municipality. Um, so... Clifton Park, New York, Penfield, New York. So municipalities are similar to cities, just the government structure is a little bit different. Um, what I always find is there's not as many impressions and clicks when you look at municipality versus city. So usually I'll just target by city if I'm gonna target, um, but you could target municipalities as well. Um, so as we scroll down, you can see again, it's usually whatever impressions you're seeing is usually gonna be 
uh, more pop more populated areas so just one thing to keep in mind so as we keep going down you can see postal codes so you could target by specific postal codes um, we're going to keep going down we have airports here so you could target people who are located physically in the airport or just around the airport um, i'll show you that as well as we're going through targeting um, you could see borough so a lot of times with borough you're going to see the new york boroughs come up queens bronx manhattan um, so just another option there. And then as we keep going down, there's city, region, neighborhood, university, and district. So what I'm going to do is neighborhood right here. So you could target specific neighborhoods where people are located. Um, and then as we come down, you could also target specific universities. So you could see right here, we have Indiana, we have California State, Penn State. So you could target specific universities as well. So what we're going to do is come back over to settings and we're going to go to advanced search under here for location. So in advanced search, you're allowed to start targeting different locations. So the other thing we can target if we come over here to the United States, for example, we'll just get rid of this. We're gonna scroll in a little bit. So you can also do radius targeting. So this is a really popular option. So you can say, okay, we wanna target Tulsa, Oklahoma. And what we wanna do is target a 20 mile radius around Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we just click here on pin mode and you just drop the pin right here and it's gonna do a 20 mile target right around Tulsa and you can move it around. If you go a little bit closer, you can make sure that your pin is as close as possible. So we'll click here, click right in the center and now we have a 20 mile radius, or radius around Tulsa, Oklahoma. If you just wanna make sure you're keeping things really targeted, maybe you own a local business in a specific location, you just wanna target people 20 miles around that business, that's something you can do. So when it comes to how far you can actually do a radius targeting, you can do up to 500 miles. So we could do 500 miles here, click on pin mode and do 500 miles around Tulsa. Obviously that's a huge area. Um, so you generally don't need to do something that large, but that's just one option that you have. Maybe you have a ton of business locations in these areas or something like that, but usually you don't do a radius that large and you can do it down to one mile. So if we come all the way in here and we'll just do it to one mile and we'll do pin mode, click right here. And you could do one mile around this Fort Smith area or wherever you're trying to target. So some different options with radius targeting. That's a very popular option if you own a local business because you could just target a 10, 15, 20 mile radius around your business and then run advertisements to people that are located really close to you. Now, just make sure when you are doing radius targeting, you select your radius up here. So let's just say we're doing 20 miles and we're going to do 20 miles around Oklahoma City. You click pin mode you click where you want to put your pin and then you click on target as well. So once you do that, you're going to start adding radius targeting to your campaign. So we could do one around Oklahoma city. We could do one around Tulsa. So you can continue to add these to your campaign. As far as I know, there's no limit when it comes to radius targeting. I've done this before with airports. Um, so when you're trying to target different airports with a certain type of message, um, it can be very useful for travel if you're talking about direct flights and different things like that. So those are just some different options when it comes to radius targeting. Now we're going to come back over to location here. One option you have is you can add locations in bulk. So it says locations can be cities, postal codes, countries. You enter one location per line. So you could do Boston, Massachusetts, and we'll do New York, New York. And if you click on search, what it's going to do is pull up the closest locations to what you type in here. Um, so you can enter a bunch of different postal codes here that can be useful for targeting. Um, if you want to target a bunch of different countries, you can. Um, so just a lot of different options there for targeting in bulk as well. Um, but what we're going to do here is get rid of ad locations in bulk. If we start searching for a location to target, um, I'm going to use Boston as my example. So if I search Boston, you're gonna see all the different options we just went through. So Boston, MA, Manchester, New Hampshire, and you can see Nielsen DMA region and the reach is 11.2 million people. So it's gonna be a large region. If we click on target, you can see it goes all the way up into New Hampshire and then basically most of Massachusetts here and specifically around Boston. So this is all considered the Boston market. So when people are talking about specific markets, they're usually referring to the Nielsen DMA region. So we're gonna get rid of that here and we're gonna search, and not Boston Market, the restaurant, obviously. Um, so we search Boston again, and you can see we have Boston, Massachusetts, the city, so that's gonna be much more targeted. It's just gonna be the city around Boston, and if we click on target, you can see it's a much smaller area, a 7.4 million reach. So a couple different options there, so we're gonna get rid of this. So we search Boston again, 
And you're going to see there's going to be some other options that come up here. So Boston, England, United Kingdom. You want to make sure you don't add that if you're trying to add, target Boston, Massachusetts. You have Boston College, the university here. So you could target that. And it's just going to be a very small area related to the University of Boston College. So we'll get rid of that. We're going to search Boston again. So what you're going to start seeing down here are some related locations. Um, so they have one in South Africa. They have one in Missouri. Um, but you can see here Fenway, Kenmore, Massachusetts. So it's specific neighborhood around Boston. You can search for neighborhoods if you're just trying to target specific neighborhoods with your advertisements. The other thing here is we have airport. So Boston Logan International. So it's the airport. If we click on target, you could see it's just targeting this area where the, the airport is located, where people would be driving around the airport. Uh, maybe people are staying in a hotel around the airport or they're specifically in that airport at that time you can target people so that could be useful if you own a business in the airport and you want to target people with specific advertisements as they wait for their flight so we're going to get rid of this now we can do congressional districts so let's just say you want to target ma7 so it's going to be the massachusetts 7 congressional district you can target it and it's just going to target people in that congressional district so that's a huge one there um, and as you type in different things you could do ma9 and it's going to pull up different congressional districts in the state and you can see based on the reach you know where you're targeting for different people so a lot of different options when it comes to location targeting uh, you can start entering some postal codes here as well um, so that could be just another option when you're trying to target people i like to use radius targeting a lot of times if i'm trying to target a specific area i want to go through geofencing a little bit more with google ads um, so some different strategies with geofencing that you can use um, but these are all the different location targeting options you have and you can use your geographic report so just click on locations as you start getting data you just click on your geographic report here and you can see a bunch of different locations now excluded is pretty much the same as targeted if you click to add excluded locations you cannot exclude a radius like i showed you you can only target radiuses um, you can add excluded locations in bulk. You can use your geographic report here. And okay, so let's just say we come to states here. So we're looking at Ohio. Ohio has $7 in spend, zero conversions. So what I can do is click here. I can click on edit and I can add this as a target and set a bid adjustment up or down, or I can exclude this as a target altogether and just add it to my excluded locations. So a lot of different options when it comes to location targeting with Google ads. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about is how you can use your Google Analytics data to incorporate location targeting into your Google Ads account. So if you open up your Google Analytics property here, what you wanna do is click on Audience over to the left-hand side, and then you're gonna see Geo here. So you wanna click on Geo and then Location. So that's gonna open up the location data for your website. And what you can do is scroll down and it's gonna show something like this. So it's gonna show primary dimension country. So it's gonna show the top users by country and then you're gonna be able to break that down by conversions as well. So let's just say we use United States, for example, we click on United States. So now it's gonna show regions. So for United States, that's obviously gonna be states. So it's gonna be Illinois, California, Texas. These are our top states for farmhouse goals. You could break it down by city by metro and then you can incorporate that data into your campaigns so if we break it down by city i can see chicago is not actually performing well we're getting a lot of users but not a lot of goal completions so we might have an issue with our traffic in chicago um, but if i just click on goal completions here i can see the cities that are driving me the most conversions um, we could also do metro area so i generally use metro a lot because that's a larger market area so if we do that, we can see some of our top markets are Minneapolis, St. Paul, New York, New York is performing well, I'd say, um, a little bit below average, but not too bad. Um, Dallas, Fort Worth is performing well. You could see Washington, D.C. is performing well with not a lot of users yet. Um, so it's just another way to find some location data that you can incorporate into Google Ads. So all of these can help you improve your campaign over time, especially if you're targeting a lot of different locations. And it really depends on the results that you're seeing. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.